a familiar name at the top of the Eredivisie Divisie as Ajax make it three wins out of three, but will they be there after match number four? Well, we'll have a little look. Next. Out in the Eredivisie. Divisie. That's right, boys and girls. So we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe, bang up today with all things Black and Rovers related, Eredivisie Divisie related, World Football. We've got it all here under one Ruski. That's right, boys and girls. So three wins out of three as Ajax overtake the bigger boys. Uh, that slipped up, slipped up a little bit so far out in the top flight and the Dutchlands. We'll get to that, uh, talk about more of that in a minute. Of course, big shout out to the Patreon gang. There are only 18. We've lost one in the process. Uh, but taking up the slack, Chris Wilson and Russell Frost up in their pledge. Uh, so a big, big shout out to those guys for taking up the slack. And a big shout out to all the patrons. Do appreciate the support of the channel. It does, it does give me that extra mojo because times are tough. Times are tough. And uh, this keeping up with the prediction league is bloody well hard work. It is very, very hard work at the moment trying to trying to maintain that. I don't know what I, why I said I do this prediction league because it's bloody well hard. Anyway, let's have a look at the prediction league in just a second. Let's take a look first. See how I got on uh, in match day number four. Yeah, or three, three match day number three. Let's get into it and have a look at the the games and the goals and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Eredivisie, of course, my boys. SC Twenty uh, kicked off the weekend with a three-one win over over Groningen, of course. Uh, get in there, my boys. I actually went the two and win for 20. Vakaf, Cerny, Danilo, and Alexander Shemenezhev on the score sheet for 20. Ahmed El Mazudi on the score sheet for Grunigan as they lost 20 with a win. Big fat W going up to four from the table with that bad boy. Uh, so I went with the two and win myself. Swaller, uh, they got they smashed Sparta 4 0 in the end uh, to go up into the into the dizzy heights. Where are they now? PEC Zavala. They're up to seventh now on the table. Uh, Reza Gushajabad, ex Charlton man there with a couple of goals there. Clint Lermans with the, with the goal. Yuka Nakayama as well on the score sheet for Zavala. Minka Pinto get himself sent off for Sparta. Didn't make things any easier for them, did they? Uh, actually, one of the new new draw on that one. 14 to Sittard. Uh, got a point, didn't they? Uh, against uh, Is it Outmar? Six goal. Bobby Dazza there. Um, goals on that day. So Zian Fleming with a couple of goals. Emil Hansen for Fortuna Sittard as well. Danny DeWitt, Tune Coopermans, and Marianne Bardu on the score sheet for AZ Outmar. 3 3. Actually, one the 1 0 win for AZ Outmar. I don't know what's going on with Outmar with AZ Outmar. They have yet to, yet to get going in this season where they currently find themselves in 13th of the table without a win. Uh, two back to back draws for them. Uh, meanwhile, Helen Bean uh, took on VVV Venlo and uh, they won, didn't they? 1 0 winners over the end to go second in the table. Helen Bean winners. Uh, the 1 0 goal from Jory Verman with a big fat penalty, 32 minutes. Tobias Pachinik and Zimin Jansen get themselves sent off for Venlo. Two men uh, sent off down to nine men to at the end of the match. Of course, Ajax did were victorious over Vietis on and 2-1 win uh, for the leaders. Uh, the goal scorers on the day, they also had a man sent off. Oh, Quincy Promise and Anthony on the score sheet for Ajax. Edson Alves get himself sent off. Uh, Riccaldi Bazur get himself a goal for Vietis on as they crashed uh, to a 2-1 win. Actually, I remember the 3-0 win myself for Ajax. Uh, so not too shabby on that one. Final did beat Den Haag. 4-2, 6 goal. Bobby Dazzler on that bad boy. Actually, I remember the 2-0 win for final on that one. Not too shabby. Luthers Gushadaji, Marco Sensei. Luciano Narsing and Steven Burgos in the score sheet again for Foynois, uh final in the end. Uh, Jonas Alviera and Shaquille Penis uh, on the score sheet for Den Haag in a 4-2 win to give final a big old boost as well. Utrecht did beat Wawick uh, and actually went with a 3-1. Uh, uh, they were actually beat him 3-1. Actually went with a 2-0 win myself. Uh, so not too shabby on that bad boy. Goal scorers, uh, Mimran Mai, Garanio Kirk, Sander Van Streek uh, with Vitaly Damaskin getting the 1-0 goal for Wawick. Actually went with a 2-0 win myself. So not too bad. Hercules Almo, uh, they drew Drew with PSV. Goodness gracious me. I should call the right amount of goals. I thought PSV would walk it, but they didn't. Uh, Rivlet with a big fat penalty for Hercules. Uh, Philip Max with a big fat penalty for PSV. And FC Emmen and Wilhelm. They drew one apiece as well. Actually won the one-nil win for Wilhelm. Goal scores on that one. Again, another red card. Mikael Dulouf for Emmen. Mike Tresser for Wilhelm Swai. Glenn Bigi get himself sent off for Emmen. So, uh, as you can see, what did I do on there? I did uh, two, four, five, five, over half. Over half. We'll have a look at what that means in a minute. Uh, Helamine told the pops mathematically, depending on which way you look. Uh, one table I've got, they've got Ajax, and this one, hey, uh, apples and pears, boys, apples and pears. Ajax are just up there as well. Uh, if the season was to end today, you know, who would be the champions? I don't know. I bloody well don't know. Uh, Sparta, while well, we are in the relegation zone as it stands. 20, though, up there in fourth spot, looking good. I got myself five, which is 
Uh, straight face club, boys and girls, but not to two, you're in the shit face, three to seven, you're shit face, uh, you're straight face club, and eight plus, you're in the top banana, let's have a little look at it then, shall we, Leon, L50, you did all right, Matt Gunner did bit, stick out to Caprice, not too shabby, okay, did okay, Game of Charlie, not too bad, Victor Cavallio did okay as well, Victor Phyllis Shud did bits, could he go, oh, well done to you, not too bad, Gash Shepherd, what's going on there, son, but you get a round of applause anyway, Simples976 did okay, that boy did bits, Liam2000, not too bad, Nadine Kananka did bits, Ultra Omen, oh, as well, killing it. Well done to you, sir. Yannick Bustler did pits. Oh, uh, yeah, keep it on. Not too bad. Russell Frost, well done. Fantastic. Gibbies with you. Dylan Cruzy did all right. LG and Cow, oh, too bad. bad. Mike Gallagher, you did all right. Biosso Matter, not too bad. Sean Brennan did bits. Oh, Maggie Monday also did very, very well as well. More? No, I think that's it. This is your leaderboard as it stands out in the Erde Divisie land. Uh, who is your winner? Your winner of last week was Leon and Victor Carvalho with seven out of a respectable. Was it nine? Nine in the top flight, top bananas for them bad boys. Well done, well done, well done. And as you see, some of the patrons doing very, very well as well. But your overall leaderboard over in the Dutchlands. Again, don't look at the rankings. It's all botched up at the minute. I don't know why. Uh, but Mike Gallagher, still your kingpin at the moment with Cody Coho. Just on the flip side as well. The rankings are botched up. But as you see, just one point, or one prediction uh, between Mike Gallagher, between Cody Coho, Devante Caprice and Victor Fisher is so tight at the moment. So get in there and start predicting you kingpins and try and change it up a little bit. We'll have a look at what that looks around next time around. Of course, hopefully all cleaning up a bit of course uh let's get into it then shall we of course next matches um heading into this next week 28th to the 4th of october stretching over from friday all the way to sunday then we have an international break i believe so utrecht taking on head and being these two sides to play each other according to my knowledge uh i don't know maybe 63 times 25 wins for uh utrecht uh 23 wins for head and being and 15 draws but the last six though between two sides in fact do i have last six knowledge on these guys um i don't know i don't think i have uh, but heading into this well, heading into this, Utrecht have actually won the last four matches in the Eredivisie, uh, and they'll fancy the chances to do just that. Hopefully, they're not all like this. The bookies odds. I'll give you the bookies odds on this one. Utrecht up against Hedden Bean. Eleven to eight on Utrecht. Are your favourites? Twenty nine to ten. Ahead and Bean are your underdogs. Three to three to one is your draw on this one. Of course, heading into this, uh, where are we? Where is the Eredivisie table? Heading into this, Hedden Bean are second. Utrecht are doing okay for themselves reasonably. Anyway, in ninth spot, yet to taste the feet for them, and a win for them could actually go as high as third. A win for Hedden Bean could go outright leaders themselves on this one. I'm going with a two two draw. Hedden Bean are. I've got the bragging rights at the moment sitting. Top of the table, uh, Utrecht are a decent side. I do expect them to be competing at the big boys uh, towards the end of the season. So, yeah, 2 2 for me. Points shared. Everyone should be happy with that. Next up, we have BT's arm taking on Hercules Almo. These two sides. Um, I've played each other. How many times? Well, uh, around about 32 times. 15 wins for Vietis Arnhem. Uh, six wins for Hercules Almo and 11 draws. The last six, though, sees three wins for Vietis, uh, one with uh, Hercules and two draws. Last time I played each other was in Hercules. It was a 2-0 win for Vietis Arnhem. Usam and Tianani and Team Matabat on the score sheet. A 2-0 win. And I believe it was in the Dutch Cup. However, the last time I played each other in Vietis Arnhem in the league was back in 2018. It was a 4-0 win for Vietis Arnhem. Uh, Osani Dafalulu uh, with a couple of goals. Alexander Butner and Navione Foon on the score sheet uh, for BTs. Heading into this, Hercules have actually failed to win, uh, actually failed to score in the last five away matches. They've also failed to win their last 11 away matches in uh, Eda Divisier. You come into this though, um, yeah, not great form though, is it? Uh, one win in the past four for Hercules. Meanwhile, their opposition, two wins in the past three, losing only to Ajax, of course. Bookies odds uh, on this one, uh, 10 to 6 on, VT's on my, your favourites, 3 to 10, or 3 to 1 is your draw, 80 to 5 is your long shots. Um, for Hercules. I'm going with VTs. I'm sticking with the bookies on. Sticking with the bookies, sticking with the, the bigger boys. VTs should come out on top convincingly in the end. Next up, we have RKC Wowick taking on uh, PEC's Vola. These two sides play each other 21 times, seven apiece. Seven wins, seven draws, and seven uh, wins apiece. So they both won seven, and they've been seven draws. That's what I'm trying to say. Last six, though, nothing for Wowick. Two wins for PEC's Vola. Four draws, including a draw last time they played each other in Wowick, which was a nil nil draw. Uh, last time they played each other in Zvola, though, was a six. Two Bobby Dazzler, eight goal thriller going in favour of PEC Zavala. Reza Conchanchahand with four goals. Gustavo Hammer and Ilias Ben Hanzani on the score sheet for Zavala. Mully Mulliston and Clint Lehmans on the score sheet for Wowick. Heading into this, Wowick have actually lost six of the last seven matches in uh, the Eda Division, when the Swallow actually failed to win the last six away matches. Heading into this, of course. 
are. Where are they in the table? Wow, Wick coming to this. Not looking good at the moment in the relegation zone. No points on the board. Meanwhile, PEC Zwolle in seventh spot with one win, one draw and one defeat. Bookies odds on this one. We'll probably go with uh, Zwolle on this one. Uh, 90 to 10 for Wow, Wick. 11 to 10 is for Zwolle. 30 to 5 is your draw on this one. Uh, the bookies go with Zwolle. I go with Zwolle. What about you? I'm going with uh, but the 2-1 win for Zwolle in the end. VVV Venlo. Uh, they're going to be taking on ADO Den Haag. These two side players are the 53 times for 4. 20 wins for uh, Venlo. 19 uh, wins for Den Haag and 14 draws. The last six, though, sees two wins for Venlo, two wins for Den Haag and two draws. Last time the that was in Den Haag. It was a 1-0 win for Den Haag. Shaquille Penis on the score sheet. Dan Prost on the score sheet. Uh, get himself sent off of Venlo. Meanwhile, the last time they played in Venlo was a 2-0 win for Venlo. Goodness gracious me. It was back in October 2018. Peniel Malapai and uh, Jay Roy Grut on the score sheet for Venlo. Heading into this, Den Haag have actually lost eight of the nine last away matches uh, in the Eredivisie and they also can see at least two goals in their last eight matches as well. Uh, heading into this, VVV Venlo, one win, one draw, one defeat so far. Uh, as for Den Haag, three defeats on the spin. Not great for them as well. Bucky's odds, 11 to 10 for Venlo. Red Hot favourites, 5 to 2 is your draw. 5 to 2 is also your away win on this one for Den Haag. I'm going to go with Stone Cold V's. VVV Venlo with a bin. That's made. Uh, to take it to the house, three goals, three points in the bag. Off you go. Next up, we have FC20, my boys, taking on FC MN, of course. Now, these two sides have locked horns. An impressive, just eight times, just eight times, five wins, five wins for 20, two wins for Emin and one draw. The last six, though, three wins for 20, two wins for Emin and one draw. Last time, the uh, in competitive action was in Emin. It was a 2 0 win for Emin. Uh, Clem Fry and Anko Jansson on the score sheet for Emin. However, last time, the other in 20 was a 4 1 win for 20. Harris Vukicic on the score sheet. Lyndon Selahai and Atia Kantampandre uh, for 20. Keza Verdup on the score sheet for Emin. Emin have actually failed to win the last 14 away matches, uh, but in 20 have actually scored at least two goals in any of the last 10 matches. Um, at home, so they'll fancy the chances on this. I'm beaten so far, 20, looking good. Uh, me, my Emin, without a win. So, uh, two contrasting styles here, contrasting bits of fortune as well. Uh, 20 is 65 on for the favourites, uh, 35 is your draws, 27 to 10 is your away win again. Sticking with my boys, sticking with my gut, sticking with my 20, with a 2 0 win to take it to the house. Groningen up against Ajax. This game goes on to uh, Sunday, the 4th of October now. Uh, these two sides have played 111 times. fifty, Just 15 wins for Groningen, 77 wins for Ajax and 19 draws. The last uh, six, though, sees one win for Groningen, five wins for Ajax and no draws. Of course, last time played, there was in Groningen. And guess what? It was a 1-2-1 it was a two -one win for Groningen. Kai Seychus, Ramen Pascal Ludwist on the score sheet with Donny van der Beek, who's no longer there on the score sheet for Ajax. Heading into this, Ajax actually won their last four matches in the Eredivisie, whereas Groningen have actually lost. Lost five of the last six matches as well. Uh, just one win so far for Grunigan this season. Against Den Haag, away from home, a couple of games back. Meanwhile, four wins on the spin. Oh, actually, three wins on the spin for Ajax. Back-to-back uh, -back home wins, of course, uh, and also a win on the road against Sparta uh, as well. Bookies will probably even go with that as well. Uh, Grinningham, I wouldn't rule them out, though. Five to one, long shots for them. They are 11 to four on Ajax. Are your Red Hot favourites? Uh, 50 to four is your draw on this. Ajax are top of the table. They should probably remain there as well with a 2-1 win. Uh, that's what I'm going with. 2-1 win away from home. Ajax to continue the pressure. Next up, Sparta Rotterdam up against a so far, dull A's and Altmar. Uh, and again, been busy with European action, I know, but uh, they must concentrate on the bread and butter, which is the domestic league. These two sides play each other 67 times, 14 wins for Sparta, 30 wins for A's and Altmar, and 23 draws. The last six, though, sees one for Sparta, three wins for A's and Altmar, and twee, uh, two draws as well. Um, last side play each other in Sparta was a 3 0 win for Sparta. Adel OSR, Burian Smiths. Burn, and I say burn, I mean Brian Schmitz. Hal de Savarju on the score sheet as well for the penalty spot. Heading into this, Sparta have actually lost their last four matches in the Eredivisie. division. They've also failed to score in the last three. Aizen Almarsha, Almarsha and defeated in the last five matches as well. But it's been back to back draws for them so far. And also a um, uh, defeat to Kiev as well not too long ago. Uh, but they're scoring goals, scoring four goals in the past two games for AZ Altmar. Meanwhile, uh, three defeats on the spin for Sparta. It's not really good form for them either. The bookies odds, 7-2 for Sparta, 3-1 to is draw, 13-8 uh, to eight for AZ Altmar. Red hot favourites, of course they are. Uh, they have not started great, not convincingly um, for me, but I still expect them to get something out of this game. And I'm going to go with a 2-0 win for, uh, for AZ Altmar to take it uh, and get themselves finally moving. Wilhelm Swy up against Feyenoord. Uh, these two sides lock it horns also. On Sunday, the 4th of October, they played each other 90 times, gone to my knowledge, 14 wins uh, for Wilhelm, uh, 63 wins for Feyenoord and 13 draws. 
The last six, though, one win for Wilhelm, four wins for Feyenoord, and uh, one draw as well. Last time pitcher that was in Feyenoord, it was a 2 0 win. Uh, Jens Tunstra, Stephen Burhoch, and the score sheet from the penalty spot uh, in a 2 0 win for Feyenoord. However, last time played each other in Wilhelm, it was a 1 0 win for uh, Feyenoord. Stephen Burhoch on the score sheet as well from the penalty spot again. Uh, goodness gracious me, it's actually, yeah. Uh, heading into this final, actually won 10 of the last 12 matches uh, in the Eddie Divise, whereas Wilhelm Swire actually undefeated in the last 11 home matches as well. A tough one, this one to call. Uh, Bucky's odds will also probably find it hard uh 29 to 10 for wilhelm smile underdogs 29 to 10 you draw uh 43 on for final they are the favorites and i'm also i'm actually gonna go with the home team i'm actually turn this one on its head completely going against the grain here this is my long shot this is this is where i try to out 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 predict the predictors here to see if i can come out on top i'm going with a 2-1 win for the wilhelm it's not what the bookies think it's not probably what you guys will think but i hope bloody well hope so it goes my way 2-1 win for wilhelm uh to take it to the house and then wrapping it up it'll be psv up against fortuna sittard again on sunday the 4th of october these two sides played each the 42 times according to my knowledge 31 wins for psv uh just five wins for fortuna sittard and six draws um, um, heading into this, though, the last... Uh, what have we got? The last six on this Bobby Dazzler. These uh, five wins for PSV, nothing for Fortune Citizen, and one draw. Last time picture the in PSV. In I know it was a 5 0 win for PSV. Uh, Ritsu Doan on the score sheet, Donnell Marlin, Stephen Bergwine, Mohamed Hatterin, and Cody Gakpo on the score sheet for PSV. Five different score goal scorers, and that was just back in uh, de uh, December 2019. Fortune Citizen have actually failed to win the last 14 matches away from home. Uh, they've also failed to score in, the, in five of the last seven matches away as well. Uh, PSV. Starting off the season in pretty tip-top form. Four wins. Uh, actually unbeaten in four in all competitions. Meanwhile, um, Fortuna Sittard. Just one draw the past three games for them. Not great. Not great indeed. But the Bucky's odds will go... 8 to 1 on PSV, red hot favourite, 6 to 1 is your draw, 30 to 1 is your long shots for Fortuna Sittard, but they're stupid, silly bellies for going for Fortuna Sittard. I'm going with a 3 0 win for PSV, and if I'm right, which I bloody well hope so, this is what the table will look like at the end of it. Ajax will make it 4 wins out of 4, PSV will be hot in their heels, so will be FC20 and Head and Veen. Uh, Fiatizan and Venlo and Feyenoord competing for those Europa League spots or whatever they are. Uh, Sparta Rotterdam and RKC Warwick going down as it stands, and Hark keeping the head above water, goal difference, just the difference. Anyway, Anyway, get your pick of in nice and early. Of course, international break will be uh, happening shortly after these games, of course. So there might be a little bit of a turnaround between uh, this pick of and the next pick of So make sure you, you, you bang the subscribe to keep up to date to, so you don't miss out. And when we come back, of course, give the video some love and smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe as well. Uh, will you be still leading the pick charge or will you be having a bit of a nightmare in the next pick, 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 uh, prediction uh, video? Get, get stuck in there. Get your predictions in nice and early. And again, uh, check out the description links to my other social media platforms and the Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Patreon if you want to support the channel in another way that's the place to do it bodies that's the place to do it um, yeah uh, hopefully hopefully uh, good games this week and hopefully Ajax uh, will slip up and give the, the chasing pack like FC20 something to get excited about until then though be safe out there I'll see you all later.